All right, so this is Ashley, and how do you know me? I know Rods because of Kylie, pretty much. So Who is her sister? Who's my sister, sorry. And he came to live at my house during the pandemic. And so, yeah, pretty much after that, he's kind of been, like, one of my closest friends and, like, a brother figure and helps me with my homework and all the problems I have in life. <laughs> also, part-time life coach. Yeah, that's how we know each other. Yeah, so, especially from recent awesome developments. Anyway, <laughs> we got Ramune, or however it said. I always said Ramune. Can I do the, the makeup? Oh, yeah, you can, you can do my, living my dreams of being a makeup YouTuber. And we have Milkis. I'm not gonna be having that one. So, we have all these snacks. I mean drinks. Mm -hmm. And we have a few other snacks that we're hiding here all along. We have a few interesting things. We have the, one of my favorites, Korean Honey Twist Snack. Ooh. It's really good. It's uh, honey and apple flavor. Mm -hmm. There's the matcha coffee, which she already knows she doesn't like because yeah. she's not a matcha. This one was. Like you're eating plants. This is one of my favorite. This is a Japanese uh, rice, soy, whatever, <laughs> rice cracker. And mm. I, I used to love this uh -huh. back home. I used to get a lot of these, and I I love them. ASMR. Yeah. Do they throw like nail yeah. clicker? Clacker. And then we have this, which I have never tried. And I'm sure you have never tried. Which are actual little little fish in the and look how happy this fish is. So we're gonna try this. I think we should start at least by opening the drinks. I'll open this one. I will I really struggle opening these so we can see if I can. I've only had this once, and I was explaining to, to Ashley that the first time I had these uh, was in Brazil, and they were so overpriced. They're essentially like $30. $30. You want all of those? No, they, they're they good. Can we open it? Is This is the true... No, you have to, don't That's you have to like, to oh, really? You just do it like I that? Thought. I thought. That's what someone told me. I, I always thought you took the little thingy out. I, someone just like and did then, it once for me, but I, I'm not strong enough to here, do I'm that. Here, gonna, I'm going to turn the camera down so people can see it. Well, thank you, Fi. Turn it down a little bit more. There we go. I got this. So, here, I'll turn so you can, <laughs> can, see, the, can see the logo. So, I, I thought you took this out. Okay, that might work better. And then you just... I think we're gonna break. <laughs> well, that's a plot twist. We can't get it open. They're saying, yeah, they're saying it's like that. Hey! Yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta go hard. There you go. Are we pouring it? Are we just gonna uh, taste test it? Can, does it pour well? I don't know. You can taste test it. I mean, we're, this is just so we can try each other's. Mm hmm. We're being we're being safe here. We're not we're not going crazy no with the so we, oh I love I love the little the little marble. Gotta do the hand. Some people say the marble like is the thing that makes it carbonated, but I feel like no, I don't think work. so. No one's trying to tell me that. I was like, but I love how like they have the two little indents here, so that when you turn it to drink, it doesn't the marble doesn't go into your mouth. Or close the top. Oh, oh that's pretty nice. Yeah. It's a little try. Thank you, thank you. So I'm just gonna try this. This is the original one. We're gonna try the original one first. Yeah, I'll take a sip of it. Clean. Oh. It's almost like. I think Tutti fruity flavor? Yeah, I think it's the first of, sip is like bubblegum, but it yeah. ends in like a like a non lemony spray. Hmm. Interesting. I, I like the ingredients: carbonated water, fructose glucose syrup mixed with sugar, hmm. citric acid, and artificial flavor. So it doesn't even say what the flavor is. And they were saying bubblegum too. Yeah, I agree with that. Hmm. I always thought spray. bumblegum. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. Interesting. 
That's good. Mm-hmm. Good. Next sippy sip. Yep. Now the strawberry one. I think we both agreed we like this one, right? I've never tried the strawberry. Oh, you haven't? Never no. Mind. I think I've only tried the original. So. Hmm. It's actually a lot of fake strawberry flavored things have a very strong taste. And this doesn't. Mm -mm. It's actually not bad. Huh. <laughs> I'm seething with bitter envy. <laughs> I feel like all the strawberry flavors in the snacks that we've tried mm. have been a very similar kind of... Mm -hmm. I don't know, through everything, it's like a very similar strawberry, I don't know. Yeah, interesting. We also got a lot of, like, cold things, like those fish sandwiches, ice cream sandwiches. We got uh, green tea and uh, strawberry. strawberry. Ice pop popsicle? Yeah, we also got the popsicles uh, for that, and I got the Malona uh, melon. Popsicle, but uh, we're not having that today, right now. But is Cam is Cam still around, or is she, she is too. She's here. She's talking about mom. Oh, okay. So now I was just wondering if she was like I'm gonna try these. I don't know what the actual name of these because I don't know if this is the flavor or the actual name. The uh, Aje Ichiban. I know the Ichiban part because that's like. They're rice crackers with soy sauce flavor. I don't remember if these are the... And they're individually packaged. Ooh. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. So COVID safe. Love yeah. that. So this is what I, I was actually explaining to her and her mom. Um, that a lot of times in Japan, Ichiban means number one. So, oh, maybe this is like the number one snack. They people don't have like a lunch or a full meal. They'll have these little snacks in these little packets, like kind of mm -hmm. like this, where they'll eat it and they'll they'll kind of just eat as they go throughout the day. But yeah, I haven't had one of these in in a long time. They kind of have a like a little shell, yeah, like a little, a little turtle, one? or a mushroom head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she doesn't like mushrooms. I love. Mm, that good ASMR too. <laughs> what do you think? No? No, it's like good, but it's just very different from what I'm used to. So I'm trying to like find the words to describe it. Mm. I'm doing the the thing that everyone does in food, covering my mouth when I say. <laughs> How would you describe the flavor? You can definitely taste a little bit of the soy sauce. Mm. But there's something like this. It's because I guess I, I've had a lot of rice crackery type stuff, mm -hmm. so it, it has a lot of that, which I really like. Um, <laughs> but it's, I don't know. It has it kind of has a smoky taste to it mm -hmm. too. So this one's not just like the rice cracker with, with the soy sauce. It kind of has that smoky kind of side, which I really like. What does umami mean? I see it everywhere. As, whenever people are talking about food, like, oh, the umami. That has a lot of umami. I think it's one of the categories of taste, I think. Mm. Because there's, like... I forget what the actual categories are. We learned in chemistry. It was, like, one of the newest categories of taste that they found. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Wait, let me move that on my phone. Do I have my phone? I'm kind of interested, actually, Steve. Yeah, we can actually look it up on the computer so everyone can follow along. Oh. There we go. No wonder things might not be working. I had a bunch of tabs. <laughs> All right. So, mommy. Here we go. Here we go. See, here we go. Hey, umami or savoriness. Umami or savoriness is one of the five basic tastes. It has been described as savory 
as in characteristic of broths and cooked meats. Okay. People taste umami through taste receptor. Okay. To, to glutamates and nucleotides. Um, widely present in meat broths and fermented products. <laughs> Tongues are weird. Earthy is pretty accurate. Kind of like savory, sweet, sour, bitter. Sweet? What? I think that was oh. the other one. Oh, ones. the other one. Yeah. <laughs> so. Kylie? Yeah, it is Kylie. Mm. Mm, MSG. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Our mommies have a huge kick on MSG. Mm. And we're not, yeah. we're not in the house. And no cheese, it's for us. So don't tell her about any of these snacks. <laughs> I'm the number one Wikipedia streamer. Oh! <gasps> it's... It's International Women's Day. Happy Women's Day. Thank you. Here for, for you, I'll open this snack. I'll open this snack o And you can try it. Here, come a little bit farther in. I'll actually move a little bit in just so you're not falling off the camera. Is that better? Yeah. There you go. Some of these bags, I feel especially the Korean ones. They're so well sealed. Mm. <laughs> you kind of have to, because when we bought these on Saturday, yeah, we we opened a couple. I got the that Japanese one that comes with like assorted different thingies that have like the little like not the wasabi balls, but the ones that aren't wasabi. The Anyway, those and has like the other things too that are kind of like nutty and stuff. And she got what was the oh is it still downstairs the other one the one that we opened the like uh ginger sweet yeah no, no. The, garlic yeah I could get them we have them okay do you want to try this one first oh sure I'll try this one first oh it's an interesting shape yeah and it's sweet so this you one need is to sweet a moment see the, the texture yeah it's very. And here, here's the crunch. Mmm. Actually, That's I, nice. I really like this one. This is one of my favorites. We have something similar to this, though. Mm -hmm. It's like in a pretzel form, but a similar seasoning. Mmm. I feel like most of the other seasonings we don't have. Mm -hmm. like, but we actually have something pretty comparable to that. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I actually... This is the only one I've ever <laughs> had that has this flavor. <laughs> Thank you, Roz. <laughs> Love to hear you eat. There's an apple variation of which is super I think this is the apple variation. Uh, well, at least to, according to the little drawing. But I'm not sure. Ingredients. Let's see if it has any. Sometimes it's just artificial flavors that they have. Apple, apple extract. So this is the apple. <laughs> oh yeah, how was? So I told them that we were making. You were making dinner. Oh yes. How did that turn out? What did so, you make? I made vodka rigatoni, which. I feel like the best way to describe it is kind of like a traditional Italian dish that's like pasta sauce, like the t traditional red sauce, but there's a lot of like cream and cheese in it. So it kind of like the best of like a fettuccine Alfredo mixed with like traditional spaghetti sauce. Mm -hmm. And that's what I made. And it kind of got messed up in the beginning because I used crushed instead of canned tomatoes. And so it was too watery, but we were able to cook out the extra water mm -hmm. and it was good in the end. But in the beginning, it was a little, a little scary. <laughs> okay. Do you want to introduce our next snack? Everyone's harping on the fact that I'm sitting on the Aeron chair, and you're on the folding chair on Women's International. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Tea. Would you like this chair? Oh, it's okay. Okay, so this one. I think this, this one is Korean, too. And it's a sweet garlic corn snack. Sweet garlic corn snack. Here you go. So we we clearly tried this one already, but it's really good though. It is. 
<laughs> I like how happy they are. Now eat them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're... Like, they're such yeah. cute packaging, though. I feel like they do a lot better job in packaging mm -hmm. than American food. Yeah, no, it's it's either really cute, or there's, like, a Japanese person or a Korean person on the cover going, like... <laughs> Because we got this tea that has that. And it's just like... Did you just get these at an Asian market? Yeah. It was a new one, because you said that you're used to going to H-Mart usually. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have one closer, so we went to one that was like Woo-R-Mart, something mm -hmm. like that. But... It, it had... Did it have more stuff than you usually see, or did it have? It had like the same a stuff? different selection than the H Mart that I usually go to. I think like the H Mart that I usually go to is like a little bit older, and so like the spacing is different. So I don't think they have as big of a selection. Mm -hmm. But I think it just kind of depends on like how new H Mart you go to. Is, maybe. <laughs> Who is that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we should say those for like in the middle because I don't know if I'm ready to eat them. I'm kind right. of scared. Or, you sure? You sure you don't want them? Look at how happy it is. I feel like we should wait. Build up the suspense. So, while we're in mid game, well, yeah, our we break, try it. Yeah, if we beat the level, then that will be like. Or if I die too many times, that's the punishment. Every time I die, I have to eat one. This, these look delicious. <laughs> they look so sketch. They look so good. Look at them. Look at these little fishies. <laughs> they look so happy in there. Eat the dried fish. Looks tasty. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> it looks sketch. I'm sorry. No, it looks delicious. Kylie Here. agrees with me. Here, we'll, we'll open this. Wait, can I smell it? Yeah. Can I get it smells? It probably smells sweet. It looks like it's caramelized in some way. Mm -hmm. Which I know is your favorite. Oh, I just cut the fish's head. Oh, Morbid. oh I just hit the microphone. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, oh, that's kind of creepy now. Look at that. Oh, like, can I sniff it? Yeah. Oh, is there... Oh, interesting. I don't like my goldfish. <laughs> what, if, what if this is actually fish food? No, it has nutritional. Ooh, crackers with sardine okabe iwashi senbei. I know what senbei is. Okay. <laughs> I love the comments. It's not fish food. <laughs> I'm sorry for offending your sack. <laughs> If you die in the level that we were playing, you have to eat. Oh, no, okay. I mean, I thought that'd be more interesting. All of it, like, like a. No, it's actually good. It actually tastes a little bit like the sweetness of this. It's just the texture of fish, but it's the sweetness of that, and then a little bit of fishy taste afterwards. Mm, I really like it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh yeah, do you want to try the milkies? Yeah. <laughs> I love these. I really <laughs> like them. <so> traumatized. <laughs> so, what do you think? Mm -mm. Fish food or not yeah. fish food? I mean, okay, probably it isn't fish food. But it just reminds me <laughs> of like... It reminds me a little bit of seaweed kind of taste, that mm. like seaweedy taste with a mix of fishiness and then random sweetness. I feel like it's just not. Mm -mm. I'm used to the little, I don't know what they're called, but I grew up kind of having this kind of stuff where they're like caramelized like this, but it's the tiny fish, the really tiny small ones. And I, we couldn't find it. I, w I wanted to find those, but they're also kind of sweet like this. But they have less of the fish taste. Mm. And they're more just crunchy and sweet. Yeah. And they usually come in that mix of snacks okay. that I got. But they didn't have one that had those. Yeah, I feel like if you like fishy tasting stuff, mm -hmm. it might be more enjoyable. I'm not a huge seafood person. I love Trying this. Trying to wash, wash <laughs> the taste out. 
yeah, with uh, honey twist. Yeah, I think that those are all. Oh yeah, what do you think of the milkies? Um, I love this. This is really good. It's like Sprite, but like more dimension, a little better. <laughs> you know? Three dimensional Sprite. Yeah, I think it's really delicious. Came through after the fish stuff. How or what kind or what is Milky's? Oh, it's milk and yogurt. Fl- well, that's the flavor, but it's and there's just like dried and powdered milk in there or something like that. Yeah, powdered uh, skim milk. It tastes kind of like milk and Sprite and Sprite yeah. together a little bit. I used to have a milk drink that was like milk apple flavor, and it, this kind of reminds me of that, the milk taste of that. Mm. It is sweet. It is sweet. Yeah. This one is a sweetened one. I know that they have a huge market for unsweetened drinks. Really? Okay. So, the, like, there's a lot of teas and stuff that you can just buy, and they're not sweet at all. I'm going to turn that off. But yeah, so those are, those are kind of the snacks. Do you have a favorite? Oh, we didn't try the pocky. pocky. Right now, I really like the sodas. I already knew I liked those. Mm -hmm. So I guess my favorite new snack would probably be... The Honey Twist? The Honey Twist Mm. so far. I actually haven't tried these type of coffee. Are you okay if we open it or do you want to wait? No, you can open it. Share happiness. And so you seem to have gone more with the... And what what do you think about this one? Those were actually good, too. I don't know if it's like, I would eat it if it's there. Mm-hmm. I might not go and repurchase it and spend my own money on it, but it still be good. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. So you ended up liking all of the Korean snacks mm. over the more Japanese snacks, which I'm not saying that that's a problem or a great thing or anything. I'm just pointing that out. You gotta dink it before we take it. Bing! It has a little... <laughs> It has a little thingy on the top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Didn't get a good, very mild. I had like a better than the fish snack that had <laughs> green tea. Not the fish snack. The it's this the, one's an actual fish. It's like a frozen treat. That's a fish. Well, not an actual fish. Shaped like a Shaped fish. like an actual <laughs> fish. Not a real fish. Sorry, it's very confusing on my part. <laughs> Shaped like a fish, but it's those ice cream sandwiches. And we each got one. She got strawberry with cream. Mm-hmm. And I got matcha with uh, bean, like the sweet bean thing, bean paste. And I love matcha everything, so. It's actually good for matcha, though. Yeah, you don't usually like matcha, right? Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> like a sparkler? Yeah. Sparklers also had the little nipply thing on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those used to scare me at weddings. I like hold it like. Usually, that's the one cultural different thing too. In Brazil, we actually put them in the cake, as like a candle. So we have a bunch of them just mm. on the cake. Is that kind of a hazard? No. It, it's never been a problem. Like yeah. even on the tablecloth, it like lands on it, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't burn it. It's mm. never been a problem, at least. I feel like we should rate all six, one through ten. Okay. We should our rating. As I loudly crunch <laughs> through this. What should we start with? Maybe we should start with these? Sure. We can start through the drinks. Want to start with the strawberry one? I want to give us like a 9.5 out of 10. Mm. Oh, this was really good. I would buy this again, drink it over the stuff that we have in like our grocery store. Mm-hmm. So yeah, 9.5 out of 10. I think this... Yeah, the strawberry one for me, I think it it's one of the better not actual strawberry, strawberry tasting things I've had. Mm. I'd give it probably like an 8.5, like a solid 8.5. <laughs> Thumbnails with the drinks. And for this one... I, I like the bubblegummy flavor. But, ooh, ooh, Erica's saying... Melon is the best, or green apple. Oh, I feel like green apple would be really good. You know what? I'm going to move my, the chat up here because we never really go up there. Oh, it might be a third thing. Mm-hmm. There, down you go. 
Yeah. But I feel like this. I want to give this like a seven. Like I think it was good, but it just wasn't like. I don't know if I would pick it if there was other flavors available. Mm. That makes sense. It was still really good. So yeah, seven for me. Yeah, I liked it because it was unique. Mm. Like it's a different flavor than you usually get in anything. But I don't think it's my favorite either. I think I'd go with like a seven too. Mm-hmm. Like I like it, but it's not my favorite. Then, How about the milkies? Um, that's like a nine point seven. Ooh. That's up there too, yeah. Ooh, that's almost perfect. Mm-hmm. What's your ten? I feel like my ten is a strawberry milk. They have strawberry milk. They have strawberry milk, mm. and they're really good. Hmm. So that's probably my favorite. I had never even heard of Milkies before. And I kind of want to try, especially after the Ramune. Mm-hmm. I want to try strawberry Milkies. At least, like, the H Mart has a ton of different flavors. Mm-hmm. I didn't see as many as this one. Yeah, but... I didn't really have it. It was kind of empty, too. It had, mm-hmm. like, a bunch of just ones that were empty. So, snack wise, let's start with this one, the last one we. Well, this is not the last one we tried, but. Mm-hmm. So, how do you rate this one? Uh, it's definitely different. It's, so like, for uniqueness and, like, but it wasn't like too different or it was like really unusual for me. Mm-hmm. I want to say I want to give it like a 7.5. Because it's definitely good. Mm. Not my favorite, but it's still like yeah. a saw. It's like a nice texture, a nice combination of flavors. Mm-hmm. So I'm probably like 7.5. What does this one taste like again? Sweet garlic corn snack. It's a sweet garlic corn snack, and you can definitely taste the corn and the sweetness and a little bit of the garlic. So, the garlic is, I think, the one you can taste the least. Yeah, I wish the garlic was a tea bit stronger, mm-hmm. actually. I actually don't like this one as much because of how strong the corn flavor is, and I don't mm-hmm. like corn chips of any kind, really. Okay. So, in general, other than, like, tortilla chips that are made of corn, those yeah. they t- don't taste like this. But a lot of chips, like Cheetos and stuff, kind of have a little bit of this taste. Mm. And I don't really like that. But, but still, like, it's good. Yeah. I'd give it, like, a 6.5. Gotcha. So these are all good. None of them are going to go into, like, bad... Well, you might think the fish one goes into bad category. <laughs> but... Yeah, we'll see. Let's see. And then the Honey Twists. One of my personal favorites of ye old days. Oh, that was like a solid 8.5. I don't mm. know I'm only giving 0.5, but that was a solid 8.5. I really enjoyed that. And the shape's cute. Mm. It's just all over good. I think of all these that we've rated so far, this is a 9 for me, so it's the mm. highest one. I really like these. And what'd you give the strawberry one? I gave that like, I gave like an 8.5, I think. Okay. So I'm already forgetting all my ratings. But yeah, so, did you rate this? You said... Um, what did I say? Did I say anything? I don't think you did. Did you? I thought, I think I did rate it first. Oh no, my memory's going. This is a bad sign, guys. What's your new rating? New rating? Um, 8. Okay. Actually, no, 7.5. 7.5. <laughs> oh, you rated it 8.5. So it went down a full number. Oh. Oops. <laughs> we'll just go in the middle, 8. <laughs> and then, this one... Mm-hmm. The rice I crackers? I would give that one a seven. Seven. Okay. To me, yeah, it's very neutral. Mm. It's not like, oh, yes, this is great. But I like this as almost like a nice everyday snack kind yeah. of thing. It's kind of not sweet. It's not. It's a very mild mm. thing. It's just kind of like, oh, okay, I'll snack on one of these. I really like. I feel oh. like that would be a really good, like... Give it to your kid for lunch. You can just throw it in. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's a really good like lunch snack that you can just like, have for snack and like boarding class or something. Yeah, like I would Except appreciate that packing lunch. The worst the loud. part. It's super loud. <laughs> it's super loud. Mm-hmm. It's just kids super hungry and got <laughs> little Jimmy. Get out of here! No, I'm like that that kid though because, um. If we don't want to go to the cafeteria at my school, if we don't have time, we can do, like, a meal swap. And so you basically can, like, pick out a sandwich or a salad. But it always comes with these, like, kettle corn chips. Mm. And so I'll like, eat them in my class after my lunch. And they're so loud. Even just moving by, it's like... <laughs> and it's just like, oh, don't look at me. I'm sorry. I'm just really hungry. It's the worst when it's a really quiet class, too. Mm. And it's just, like, either the professor speaking and he's not very loud. And he just... <laughs> 
Cream Puff. If you ever that? have a chance to go to Beard Papa, yeah, go Coke. there. It's a Japanese chain of cream. Puff. Interesting. Cream puffs. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That does sound really good. Some metro cities have them. I will look into that beard, Papa. I... Yeah. Should we pull it up real quick? Yeah, I'll I'll pull a beard, Papa. Papa. Let's see here. We have... The closest one is in New York. Oh, I think I've seen this logo before. Oh. I, I know what this is. Yeah. Oh, weird. Oh, I thought this was egg. Then I saw s'mores. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Choose your filling. Ooh. Oh, that does look really good. I actually... So for people that don't know, I'm half Japanese. Uh, I do not speak Japanese. <laughs> I'm so, you know, fake Japanese person. But... So my family would... My dad's side of the family would actually have a lot of these things. And... We, my grandma, and whenever we had, like, big family parties that had, like, the extended, extended family, so, like, my grandmother's siblings and stuff and their families, uh, they would make stuff like this. And these are really good. These are really good. Especially when they're fresh. Sometimes Mm -hmm. they would be a little bit stale because it's such a big family, they would make the day before. Mm -hmm. Uh, But these are really good. Oh, you're half Japanese, too. That's awesome. Twins. Have you seen them? The movie Wreck It Ralph, the mascot security guard. He's a security guard at the factory. Interesting. I, I don't remember that. Oh. That's good. When they do it fresh for especially stuff like fillings and uh what's the cannolis too. They have to pipe it fresh, otherwise it's just kinda like Yeah. I feel like the only redeeming thing is if you like freeze it. Mm. So then it's like a little bit frozen, and so it kind of makes up for the, for like an ice cream snack, and it mm. makes up for the stale. For like these, or for? For cream puffs. For, for cream puffs? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. We used to like, well, like, we'd freeze it and like, let it thaw, so it was like soft in the middle, mm. but still kind of like that more like ice cream kind of vibe. Pretty good. Yeah, this looks really interesting. <gasps> oh. Ooh, they have like some other stuff. A little That's cheesecakes, creme brulee. Yeah, these looks good. How do you feel about creme brulee? Uh, I don't like it in sweets like this. I'm not a huge fan. Oh. Uh, How about you? I honestly have only had it, like, one. Mm. And I had it, and it was good, but it was, like, it was, like, he was in chef school who made it. Mm. So, like, he made it really good and, like, torched it, like, right in front of us. Okay. So I don't know if it would be good for a rest. Do you want to start moving some of these snacks? Yeah. yeah. All right. So let me... Bring it back to here. I'm gonna. Oh yeah, wait. We we're not done with the scoring. We still have two to go. Uh, we have the faceless fish. Now I I love I these. Wanna I, I wanna I want to I want to try another one. Mmm. This is a solid eight for me. This is a solid eight. I prefer the small ones because these are big. But then you get a little bit more of the bitter aftertaste. Mm-hmm. The small ones you don't get as much of the bitterness. But what about you? I'm sure you love them. Like a point seven. Point seven. Zero point seven three. Wow. Wow. Point seven three specific. Yeah, I don't like the aftertaste of these. Yeah. But I like the I like the moment taste. But it still gets an eight for me. Mm. Really like these. <laughs> yeah, they failed. The test. Maybe if I was like really hungry, I would appreciate them more. Oh. I just ate a lot of food, so no, it's no, like... I mean it's fine. It's not like oh, and the pocky. Oh, pocky. What do you think of matcha pocky? I want to give this like a solid seven. Okay, I think it's pretty good. Okay, I give this like an eight point five. Okay, yeah. eight point five. Would you prefer? Like, would you give it a higher rating? It was more like matcha. I think maybe, okay. maybe. I just don't. I'm not usually a fan of just the stick itself, because there are some ones that are more savory, that not Pocky specific, um. but ones that are just the stick, right, without the chocolate or mm-hmm. without anything else. They're just a savory snack, and I don't like those. Mm, okay. But I like Pocky and stuff like that because of the flavors. I see. 
But yeah, here. Let me get the trash so we can throw all of our, all of our trashes out. Yeah, not trasher. Off of Here we go. Here we go. Here the little bobbles. No, you gotta keep the Ramune bobbles. No, the that thing, not the. Do people ever try to extract the marbles from inside the... I saw a video where someone was, like, telling their friend it's possible to get it out. Mm. And, like, at least in that video, she couldn't get it out. Like, she mm. tried everything. Yeah. She did the point where she was ready to, like, crack it open with a hammer. Oh, huh. Interesting. get it. That'd be a fun thing to try, maybe. Yeah, it seems like it's glass. It doesn't... Like, even the clink. It's not like... Yeah. Anyway. So, we have a couple of games that we're gonna play. Which you picked. Well, you, you picked one of them, but the other one we were playing and we wanted to stream anyway. Which one do you want to do first? I think we should do... Well, do you want to start with... It's Lego a... Star Wars Okay. is my, my near and dear to my heart. Okay. I don't know if we should start with the banger or like... You know. We can start with the banger. Okay. And, Fi, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you for following us. I'll be honest, I don't know how often we're going to be doing more food stuff, but thank you for following. It's a glass. It is glass. Yeah, because it, it definitely sounds like glass. All right, we're going to transition here to Lego Star Wars.